Now, this annual legislative session is essentially a window to observe China's key policy ideas for the year ahead. CGTN's Daniel Arapmoy tells us why it matters. The two sessions is China's yearly plenary meetings of the National People's Congress and the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. The sessions bring together China's top legislature and top political advisory bodies. China's two sessions serve as the best window through which to observe China's legislative and political advisory process. The meetings are normally held in early March every year. The sessions are attended by around 3,000 lawmakers and over 2,000 political advisors from all walks of life. It covers several issues ranging from economic reforms and military spending to foreign policy and the year's main targets. The NPC, the top legislature, is the highest institution through which the people exercise their power. The CPPCC, the top political advisory body, serves as a key instrument for multi-party cooperation and political consultations under the leadership of the CPC. It allows the leading figures of society, selected across a wide spectrum, to provide input. During the sessions, the central government unveils its annual work report, which includes official GDP forecast, as well as information on major socio-economic policies. Because of the deep relations that exist between China and Africa, the continent is expected to closely follow the proceedings of the two sessions. Africa will also be interested in understanding how China managed to cushion its population from the COVID-19-induced challenges. Daniel Arapmoy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.